Hi, this is Drake, and we're back. I'm going to be talking about the programmer on Martin and Onyx software. So, the programmer is what allows you to control your fixtures and any fixtures that you have connected to your lighting console slash software. So, let's just dive right in and start talking about the programmer. All right, so we're on our home screen here, and uh, as you saw in the previous videos, we patched our fixtures here. We have our eight LED PARs patched in here, and we have our demo fixture here. Um, so that way you can kind of see what I'm talking about when I'm controlling it. So to control stuff in your programmer, you have to pop up your control panel, which in this case is in our software. Sometimes it's built into your control surface that you actually have on your desk. So to control these fixtures, we actually have to type in the number and the ID uh, of the fixture here that we have listed in our patch. So for example, we have eight fixtures, so our IDs are one through eight. So if we go back and we go back to our control panel, we can type in one through eight, enter. Now that, I just selected all eight fixtures. You don't have to select all eight fixtures. You could just select one, enter. Now I've selected one fixture and that happens to be our demo fixture. So over here we can pop up what actually we can control in the programmer. So first off, we have intensity. Very basic, turning the brightness up and down of the fixture. Most every fixture have intensity. Actually, I don't know in a fixture that doesn't have intensity because it's a light. <laughs> Next, we have color. So this is an RGB uh, fixture, which means it has a red LED, a green LED, and a blue LED. Actually, there's multiple of each. And that's how we get our color. So to show that, let's make our fixture at 50. It's actually a little bright. Let's bring it down a little bit to about 25 here. Um, and if we go to our color, right now we're getting this kind of purpley white, and that's because we actually have all three colors on. So let's go to red. So let's make green and blue zero, and now we are left with red. We can do the same with green. There's our green color, and we can do the same with blue. Here's our blue color. This fixture also, because we are in seven channel mode, has these color macros. So uh, you can basically scroll through these macros and it has built-in color presets that are already in the fixture. As you can see, they're kind of changing as I'm scrolling through here. Most of the time, we stay away from color macros and we would rather just make the colors ourselves here by mixing. So you can do yellow or orange or purple, those types of things with the color here. So we're going to leave it white for now. Okay, so we're going to leave our color at uh, all at full so we get this white color. Under beam effects, this could change per fixture. This is like a, a built-in chase macro, so it kind of does some fade in and fade outs, and it should be fading in and out between all eight fixtures. It does like these little pulse things. I also tend to not use the chase macros. I tend to make my own effects, but you can use them, and they are built in for you. Um, under intensity, we also have our shutter, which controls like a strobe. So if we're open, it's not going to do anything. Uh, you can click on slow, so it's going to st strobe a little slow, and we can speed it up so it can strobe fast. This is how you control your fixture with your programmer. Now over here in our control panel again, we have some things like record, update, load. We also have this clear button. This clear button is very important. You'll probably touch this button more than any other button on the console and that's clearing anything out of the programmer. So every time that you're adding stuff like intensity or color, it's loading it into the programmer for you to be able to record it to a group or preset or queue. Now, if we don't want this in our programmer anymore, we have the option to clear it. And if you clear it twice, click it twice, it'll actually clear everything out of the programmer completely. Um, when you have multiple fixtures patched like we do, and you select just one, the next and last button will allow you to skip through it. And I can show you, so we'll set our intensity of this to 25, and then we're gonna go to our next fixture. And you'll, if you watch right here, you'll see that it will go back to zero. Now it's at zero, because we're at our next fixture that we haven't actually controlled yet. And if we go back, it'll show back up at 25%. So this is how you can cycle through fixtures. Um, your highlight is also a very, very, key button. 
uh, a lot of times you'll have multiple fixtures in a rig and you just want to figure out which one is which. Uh, to do this, you click the highlight button and if you click one and enter, it will highlight, meaning it'll make your intensity full brightness without you actually touching anything in the programmer here of your fixture. And if we go next, it'll go to zero because now we're sending full intensity to uh, fixture number two of our rig. If we go back, it'll go back to this fixture. Highlight is a very, very useful fixture. We're going to clear that. We have our delete button. That's the delete groups and presets that we would make over here. We have our move button, which is to move groups and presets. Uh, copy, same idea. You're copying and moving it. Your edit, to edit any name of anything over here. Your undo is also very, very important for undoing anything that you accidentally did that you want to undo. Um, we have our record, update, load, group, queue. We're going to get into these a little bit more. Uh, the main one is you're going to use record a lot. Uh, when you make a change with a fixture, you can hit record to record it to a queue or anything like that. Um, and last but not least, you have these little helpful guys right here. So I can do channel one or fixture one at using the at sign full. That's just a little shortcut um, to make your fixture at full. You can also use the programmer to be fixture number one at 50%. So if you type one at 50, that will make that fixture at 50% right here. You can even, while you're in here, do at 20, it lowered it to 20%. So you can use this. You can also use the the control panel, it's a lot more useful if you have a control surface that has that built in. So you're just using the number pad to cycle through your intensities. All right, talking about the programmer, I have patched a Viper, a Martin Viper, um, to show you a little bit more about what a bigger fixture might have in its uh, programmer. So let's select nine. That's our Viper, and we'll bring this up. As you can see over here, we have a lot more options available than we did previously with just our LED par. We have our same intensity and we have the same shutter uh, over here. We also have pan and tilt. Now this fixture is a mover so it can pan uh, and tilt up and down, left and right. So this would allow us to control our pan and our tilt right here. We have our color. Uh, same idea, this is cyan, magenta, and yellow instead of RGB. Um, same idea with controlling your color here full color mixing, and you also have a color temperature, so this allows us to change our white from cold to warm and anything in between. Um, we have our gobos. This fixture has gobos, so it gives you those patterns that you can see with haze or texture on a wall, um, and it has a lot of different ones built in. This one even has ones that can spin and ones that are static. Two different gobo wheels. And you can also layer gobo wheels, which is also really fun. Um, we have our beam, which allows us to go narrow or wide. It has a zoom has a focus for our gobos, an iris, which is limiting how much light is actually coming out of the nozzle of the fixture. And this has a frost, which is kind of like diffusion. So it can be really, really sharp, or you can make it really, really washy. Um, and then also more macro beam effects built in. It looks like they stuck the control parameters under beam effects, which is like your fixture reset and lamp on and off that kind of thing is under your beam effects here. So that is a brief overview of how to use the programmer and what the programmer actually does on the software. If you want to get more in detail with how to use that programmer, check out our other videos.